I'm in Kenya and at this conference. What an honor. Um, so let's begin. Um, and just, you'll be grateful to know that I'm not going to take 45 minutes, so, uh, so don't worry about that. Um, so, task president and distinguished guests, on behalf of the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries, I wanted to begin by extending my thanks for the invitation to attend and speak at this conference. I am confident that it will be a great success allowing the opportunity for actuaries to come together to explore the key issues affecting both our profession and society as a whole. I am looking forward to, re rich, to rich discussions. It also gives me great personal pleasure to be here in Nairobi, a place that I know so well. My family is from across East Africa and I still have family and friends here. I have many fond memories of hanging out with my cousins, open markets, playing in the countryside of Tiga, the drive through in Nairobi, and of course, safari, beaches, and family weddings. And now I'm going to qualify that because I always get questions on this bit because I've said East Africa, and actually it's not technically correct. So I'll just disrupt a little bit. So my... Um, parents and grandparents born in Kenya, my mother-in-law's from Tanzania, I oh, know, my father-in-law's from Tanzania, because my mother-in-law's from Kenya as well, and my husband was born in, um, no, I won't go to that yet, my brother-in-law's from Uganda, I've got an aunt-in-law from the Congo, and the bit that breaks the East African bit is my husband was born in Zambia, so actually it's across Africa. So, um, so that, that might sort of change a line of questioning, but I was born in Bristol, and, uh, and, and so there, there goes that one. Um, so back to my, back to my speech, um, I digress. So this year has marked the 175th year since the birth of the actuarial profession, and also, a hundred years since the first woman was admitted as a fellow, it is a landmark year. I believe that it is an exciting time for the profession here in Kenya too. And I have been hearing directly from our members about the significant opportunities for a country that has huge ambition. It is clear to me that the actuarial skill set is already highly valued with our unique breadth of skills coupled with a deep social conscience in, in enabling us to deliver value to both business and wider society. And as we find ourselves in an ever complex and challenging world, our role as actuaries becomes increasingly important. Business and governments alike will need strong analytical minds good communication skills, and the ability to understand and evaluate future scenarios to help ensure the right decisions are made at the right time. Actuaries have long been valued for their skills in insurance and financial services. However, I have always felt that the opportunities for actuaries are infinite. Actuaries have already moved into broader business roles, including the C-suite, banking and social responsibility. And I am a firm believer in the fact that there is no longer a typical actuary. As actuaries, we're only limited by our own ambition. We need to be clearer and stronger in the value we offer and be confident in the diverse range of skills and expertise that we bring to any board table. I believe in dispelling stereotypes and promoting a more accurate, nuanced understanding of the profession. For example, while actuaries have a reputation for being analytical and detail-oriented, this doesn't mean they don't collaborate. Consensus building is an essential skill for actuaries, and many actuaries work together in teams to solve complex problems and to develop new products and services. We should also not be afraid of the future. It is true that AI and machine learning have the ability to change our world, but as actuaries, we should embrace technology and continue to carve out our own space, utilizing technology to deliver additional value. Being bolder 
embracing technology and device, d diversity of thought. These can all be achieved if we have the right mindset. As professionals, we are underpinned by technological knowledge, professionalism and ethics. We must add to this, adopting a life-long learn, learning and growth mindset, including being champions for change. This will help us all to open up to the opportunities that are before us. Now back to my theme of collaboration. So I'm a strong believer that we encourage actuaries to be more than just problem solvers, promoting a learning mindset that encompasses using judgment, empowering creativity, and applying professionalism. These qualities add value and give confidence to those relying on their opinion. The key to adding the greatest value is being able to articulate views in a way that engages the audience and allows actuaries to contribute to the discussion. This requires that we all, what we all call soft skills, but these aren't really soft skills at all. We, we can act, develop these skills by unlearning some of the behaviours that, that have served us so well in, qualify, in our qualifying journeys. For example, we are taught to work hard and be the best and get good scores, which works for passing exams and competitive, and this competitive spirit needs to be balanced by an ability to work collaboratively in teams. I believe deeper collaborations with actuarial organizations around the world can help to amplify the voice of the profession and provide a stronger and more unified message to stakeholders. The world is more connected than ever, and events like this conference are great to connect actuaries with a network of professionals, opportunities, and perspectives. In working together, we can share knowledge, resources, and perspectives, and solve some of the most pressing challenges facing our profession and our society. And as we move forward, we have great strength as a profession. The IFOA is committed to working together with TASC, other societies and partners, to help ensure the skill set of the actuary continues to be recognised and respected, and we all have a collective responsibility to do this. I am confident that together the profession will continue to go from strength to strength, something I know that we all want to see. Thank you again, and I wish you all a successful conference. Thank you.